Hey Vault Hunters, it's Ted Doogie here with the commentary version of the Trial of Forever Proving Grounds run. So uh, it's finally in the bag, five minute speed run. Very proud of that. It took a lot of work, a lot of mistakes, a lot of learning um, to get this done. It's been a lot of fun also. So uh, I'm assuming that whoever's watching this has been watching the series, but in case you have not, I'm going to get into the, the build real quick. Uh, plus two additional projectiles. That's going to suck. Okay. But whatever. Um, let's do the build. Iron beer. I don't care about that. Um, sorry. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Okay. Here we go. Build. For reals, for reals this time. Okay. So, um, we're using scourges. We're gonna. This is our primary scourge because it has a sentinel anoint. So as long as the sentinel is out, we're going to do this one so that we get the 100% uh, bonus cryo damage. When we don't have the sentinel out, we're going to be using the shredded scourge. So as we swap, we get that first 130% damage boost. Uh, face puncher, of course, which is we're going to give to the clone so the clone can keep our ammo maxed out. We're using the best amp shield in the game, which is the improved version OM. Notice it doesn't have an anointment because it doesn't really matter. And what makes it so cool is that the clone gets it. And whenever we swap with the clone after his shield is broken, we're going to be standing in uh, in the, the red amp damage circle that the shield leaves behind. So if our shield is full and we're also standing in the red amp damage circle, it means we're going to be doing more, even more amp damage. So really good for this kind of build. This is the god roll, for, at least for a heavy build, seeing dead calm. Uh, cut purse, auto idle. I wish it was a cut purse victory rush, but we'll take the auto idle. The heavy damage and the air of effect damage is really what we want, and also the ammo refill, of course. It's piss. The un unthrow grenade anointment is really cool to boost our damage, and every once in a while we can get uh, things pissed on to even do more damage. So um, that's it for the gear. This is the build five points in violent momentum so we can do maximum damage while moving quickly three points in violent speed it used to be two i've bumped it up to three because every second matters in this so having that additional movement speed is going to be really cr crucial uh four points in cool hand because it's, it's enough five would be nice but four is definitely enough to reload uh death follows close of course for the kill skill duration and the kill skill bonus uh, bad dose for movement speed and slowing down our enemies and boomsday so that our uh, drone can help keep our um, uh, the legendary effect of the calm proc two points in good misfortune so that we can keep our action skills going especially the the clone i'm oh, sorry the the drone action skill between zones uh, this is this is a standard uh, double agent build for for a drone um, for a clone Three points here when you combine that with the uh, mag size bonus from here and here, that means that we're going to get two in a round for the Scourge. This is so our clone can piss on things and proc our grenade anointment. Two points here because everything else sucks. Um, these two really, really important for amp damage or amp shield build because Quick Breather gets our gets our shield recharging when we want it to and it also helps to keep our clone healed and short and Freud this way whenever our clone gets damaged we get shield fill up so for an amp shield really really good and of course double barrel so that we can get give the clone our face muncher so it can keep us at max ammo all right so we got times two plus two projectiles Y'all know, <laughs> know how I feel about plus two projectiles. We give two shits. Let's do this. Okay, so this is about being hyper aggressive. This is the secret. It's just freaking aggression out the wazoo. We want this guy on the left to spawn. We're just gonna move up over here, get him to spawn, and then get these guys on the other side to spawn. Swap. We're just gonna be hyper aggressive. We want as many things spawning as possible and keep your eye on the minimap and send your rockets where the minimap says and where uh, your drone says why is this guy not dead oh it's a badass okay so we'll give him two rockets and we just need to move up just move on up to the east side he looks apartment this guy time to swap okay 
going to position and get these guys to spawn. Swap. Okay. Turn around, shoot this guy. Swap. Get these guys to start spawning on this side over here. So we can shoot away from our enemy and they'll just get tracked. Our clone looks good, so we're fine. These guys are coming up. Let's get these guys killed. Alright, let's do this. Swap again. Clear this left side. Alright. So 28.39, that's really, really good time. Don't forget to slide. We need the movement speed so we can move quickly. So make sure you're sliding. Alright, don't fuck around with the slide. Slide is a must. We need these guys to spawn, so we're going to go up here and just get to shit popping. Reload and swap. Again, this is this is plus two projectiles on the hardest proven grounds, and we give two motherfucking fucks. Okay, this is an aggressive playstyle, so I'm gonna be cursing a lot because we gotta embrace that aggression. That's the only way we can get this shit done. So don't fuck around. All right, once that's cleared, we're gonna swap. He's really, really dangerously low. We don't wanna blow ourselves up, so we're gonna wait on that. Okay, we need to swap him now. Let's move it up a little bit. Get these guys spawning. You see how the guy just came out the door? That's the whole point. We need to get these guys spawning. Let's swap it up. Okay, now they're coming over here. Let's get some aggression going. They're coming out of this side. I'm going to put him over here so that uh, he can piss on shit. Get that piss going. Get that guardian murdered. He's dead. Alright. Swap with them and clean it up. That should be enough to get us out of here. Let's recall him. Okay, 27 minutes. Again, don't forget to slide, man. You gotta move fast. Let's get this shit going. Let's get this shit going. Remember, hyper aggression here. It's all about being aggressive. You cannot be a wuss with this. You can't be afraid of dying. You just gotta go for it. Take it from this angle so we can hit these guys. See that guy coming out? That's why we're taking it from this angle so we can make sure we hit him. And this guy's a, coming out of that little hutch on the right. Okay. He's taking some damage. Let's move it along. Let's move it along. Alright. We're moving it up. We're moving it up. We're moving it up. We're moving him up. We're going to put him in the suck. We're going to put him right in the goddamn suck. Boom. And now we're going to provide support for him. He's in the suck. These guys are about to get fucked up. Here we go. We're good. Five seconds. I need to get these guys spawning. So I'm going deep because I'm about to swap with them. Put them in the sub. These guys in the back to spawn. 2550. It's almost over. He's still alive. Let's get him out of there. 30 seconds. As long as we have 30 seconds, we're good. We're good. We are so goddamn good, baby. Goddamn high progression, baby. Let's do this shit. Do this shit. You got to get mad. 17 seconds. Get that damage buff. 10 seconds, swap, get that damage buff, 6 seconds, what? Whoop, 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 whoop. and that's how it's done ladies and gentlemen, we just fucked some shit up with plus 2 projectiles, which is supposed to be impossible, but we just did that shit, we just did that shit, and that's how it's done, I want to thank you guys for watching, I, I appreciate the challenge, uh, set forth by y'all. It's been a lot of fun doing this and I hope you guys will be able to uh, to duplicate it yourself um, Especially and because with the latest hotfix completing all the optional objectives Increases the drop rates even though <laughs> I Didn't get shit out of this chest, but you know doing all these runs and getting a lot of stuff But it does increase the drop rate of the final chest when you get all the optional objectives, which is one of the reasons I uh, 
one of the benefits of doing this series. So once again, thank you for watching. And um, ah, I don't know what I'm going to do next. This might be the end of the Stud Doogie Show. Uh, take it easy. Bye.